In this video I'll walk through a few things related to multi-head cutting. So if you've only got a single-headed machine, you probably won't find much of interest in this video, but up here we've got a sheet that's been nested for two cutting heads. Uh, these parts over here are likely going to be cut with head one, and then these parts over here will likely be cut with head number two. Now, you can't always tell by the color whether it's going to be head one or head two because there can be situations where it's only being cut with one head, but it might be head two. So the color alone isn't going to necessarily indicate whether it's head one or two. And if you want to verify what heads are being used up here on the cam toolbar, click on tools, and then it'll put these numbers on here so you can see which head is doing it which part. So for example, this little part over here right now is being cut with head one. So a couple things first of all. I'm going to go ahead and nest these parts onto this sheet. And I'm just going to do it as a single headed program. for our purposes. Click OK. And if we go back to our cam tab, click on tools again. I told it was a single headed program and it's got ones over all the parts which is good. Now one thing you have to be careful about, depending on how the settings were last left, is when you go do your order button I drag a box around this and set my zero zero point on this sheet. You'll note that I've got this zone detection box checked and what that will do is based on where the parts are on the sheet and your cross beam travel and such it will decide whether parts can or should be cut with head one or two. So of course things on the left side of the sheet are going to be cut with head one then as you get towards the middle and the right side of the sheet, some of these parts here have the two in the brackets showing that these are going to be cut with head two, and that's because that zone detection box is checked. Now first of all, if I click on reset, it will set it to what originally had on that nest there with everything that's in cut with head one. If I click on zone detection again, it'll go back to what we were just looking at, where it's going to look at where the parts are on the sheet. So that's the zone detection box. So be careful if that's turned on and you set your cut order. You may unexpectedly get head two cutting when you're thinking that head one is going to be doing everything. The other checkbox in here related to multi-head cutting is the tool optimization box. So right now it's doing some cutting with head one, it's doing some cutting with head two, back to one, two, one, and so on. If you check the tool optimization box and click on sort, then it's going to group heads together. So in this case here now it's going to do all head one cutting and then it's going to do all the head two cutting. So that's another one that can come in handy or to be aware of when you're doing multi-head cutting. So let's turn these off for right now and close. So if I delete this cut order and go back to my tools icon here so right now, again, we've got some now cutting head one, head two, because we did the zone detection in the order. If you want to get it back to all being head one, another way to do that is in this tools window here. Click on explode. You can drag a box around it, hit enter, and it'll put it back to all being head one again. So now that I've got the zone detection box turned off in the order command when I do my order, it will keep them all as head one. And then of course again you can always do your zone detection if you do want to go back to that mode. Another thing you can do is change which head is being used if you do want to use both heads. And back to tools. So if there's a part, this part here which is being cut with head one, I look at it and say, like, well, I want to cut that with head two. You can up here choose which head you want to use, click on apply, click on that part, 
hit enter, and then the number will change. You just want to make sure that you actually do have the travel to be able to get to that. And then the other thing to be careful with that is, again, if you have the zone detection turned on, when you do the order button, it will override that change. So right now, of course, it is still number one. Let's see if we can find it here in this list. That one there. So I change it from one to two. But if I had had the zone detection on, it would again switch that back to being head one. So keep an eye out for that if you do manually change which head you want to use on a part. And then if we look at this nest up here, so this little part up here is being cut with head one. If we do our order, That is in our list here. So it's at the end here. So we turn on zone detection. Then that's going to change to two. And then again, if I want to optimize my sequence, tool optimization. Final thing in the tools area here. If I were to explode this top sheet, again, that's going to set those all back to head one. If I click on multiple, drag a box around there, then it's going to look at that and see where it can apply the multi-head cutting again. If you have any questions on that, let me know. Thanks.